Hi everyone, Lisa here for the Graphics Fairy. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be making some little mini stamps using images from the Graphics Fairy websites. And you know I love making something out of nothing. I've been collecting corks for some time now and this idea came to me and I've been doing a lot of experimenting to figure out the best and easiest way to make these and I'm gonna share that with you now. So let's get going. The first thing you'll need to do is select images that you want to use on your stamps. And for this, I really suggest keeping it very simple, choosing very simple images because it is a little difficult to carve the cork. So you don't want a ton of detail and the stamp itself will just be a silhouette. We're not gonna be carving any detail inside of the, the image. So there won't be any details there. So you need to have a shape that's easily recognizable like this butterfly, anyone would recognize that shape. And this is a bird, a swallow in flight. So just choose something that is gonna be easy to carve. And then what you're gonna do is print it out. And I have in the print dialog box, reduced the image by as much as possible usually down to about 10 or 20 percent and then sometimes i still needed to shrink it using my copier um, sometimes the print dialog box won't uh, allow you to shrink it down to the size that you need to fit on the top of the cork of course if you have editing software you could load the image into photoshop and shrink it there and that will make it simpler but not everyone has that so um, the combination of using the print dialog box and the copier reduction feature also worked for me. So whichever way you choose, just get the image in a very tiny size that will fit on top of your cork. Let me show you on a fresh stamp, okay? So here's my little violet, and then I'm just gonna take my marker and I'm gonna go right over the image all the way around and you're probably gonna get some ink on your hands like I have here but be careful to hold it in place and don't move it you could even adhere it to this um, cork if you wanted to I haven't really found that to be necessary but that is an option for you okay so once you have that all marked then you can just remove the image and voila that's what you're gonna be carving once you have your image marked like that, then you are going to come back and either using a craft knife or I have here a linoleum cutting tool. These are about 10 bucks online and they're pretty cool. They have a bunch of different um, blades inside that you can switch out. So this one is kind of almost like a craft uh, knife blade, but then you have these different carving and gouging bits that you can also switch out to. So um, this is a pretty, it's, it's safer, I think. So if you have one of these, or if you don't mind investing 10 bucks, then you can use one of these, but you can also use a craft knife. Next, I highly recommend you putting on some gloves for this because um, it can be a little bit dangerous in terms of cutting yourself and especially me <laughs> I'm a little accident prone so I'm definitely putting on a pair of thick gardening gloves and being very very careful please don't hurt yourself be very careful and slow and take your time when you're doing the carving hold the cork in your left hand or whichever hand you prefer and use your craft blade or your carving tool to just go around the edge of your design and press in pretty deeply. You're gonna want at least, I would say, an eighth of an inch um, cut off from the sides. So you wanna go in at least an eighth of an inch all the way around. So the next step would be to remove the edges around the image. So I'm gonna use the lino cutting tool I'm just gonna pop the end off here and select a tip. Um, 
I'm going to not select a super deep one, more of a shallow. This one's kind of a shallow and narrow um, tip. So you just unscrew this a bit, pop this out. It's like a drill bit really. And you just put that in and then tighten it up. And you have your little carving tool there. Then we're gonna take our cork and um, I like to start in the middle. Oops, let me put my gloves back on. So important, please stay safe. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my blade and put it right there on the corner and start carving. And just carve out all of the black area that you see. And once again, you wanna go down about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch I think is plenty. So just go around, take your time because that will give you a more quality stamp if you are careful about removing just the edges there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. So we're gonna ink it up, do a little test stamp. And then you can see if you need to do any touch-up carving and you can go back and take care of that. I can see right here that I need to remove a little bit more cork. All right, I touched that up a little. Now I'm just going to stamp a few on my tag. Oh, just a little bit about the tag. Um, this is a printable from the premium membership site. I absolutely love these guys. Aren't they pretty? Uh, so this is on the premium membership site. You just go to printables and then click on the left side on tags. This will come right up and I printed that out. And then I printed some newsprint and I tore it and glued it to the tags and then put the stamp. And then I cut out some images and let's see, these were from the membership site. I just went to images and then I clicked on flowers and blue and all of the blue flowers come up that way. That's a great way to search if you're looking for a certain color scheme like I was here. So give this a try and let me know if you have questions. Um, and don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe here at the Graphics Fair YouTube channel, and um, hit the little bell button if you'd like to get a notification whenever we post a new video. Take care everybody, bye-bye.